What's up people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. And right now I am standing right in front of Bayland Park in Baytown, Texas, as you see it right behind me. But what I really wanted to feature in this video is this beautiful bridge right behind me. And this bridge is called the Fred Hartman Bridge. Let me tell you guys some facts about it. It was built from 1986 to 1995 when construction finally completed. The bridge took nine years to build. The bridge itself is 436 feet tall from the water to the top of the towers of the bridge. And it has an 178 foot clearance below. It is also a cable stayed bridge like the Skyway Bridge, which is the reason why I wanted to do a video about it, because it reminds me of the Skyway Bridge that I live by. And the road that this bridge is part of is Texas State Route 146, and it connects the towns of Baytown, Texas to LaPorte, Texas. And the bridge itself is named after Fred Hartman, who was the editor and the publisher of the Baytown Sun, which is the newspaper for the town of Baytown. Let me show you guys a closer look at the bridge. So there it is, right over there. I know on the screen it doesn't look so big, but if you were actually standing here in real life looking at this bridge, it looks a lot bigger from where I'm actually standing at to what it actually looks like on camera but it is very pretty nonetheless i absolutely love it the bridge is also 2.6 miles long and has a total of eight lanes i didn't find this out till much later but it was actually quite a messy process getting this bridge completed it was first announced in october 1985 by the texas highway department and they originally estimated that the bridge would take two years to complete. The bridge was designed by Greenier, Grenier, Greenier Engineering Incorporated. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. In 1993, the firm that was selected to produce the steel was a Mexican company that ended up going bankrupt, according to Wikipedia, which is where all this information is from, in case you're wondering. The contract was then awarded to a South African company, which caused complaints because of the country's apartheid policies. The completion date was then pushed back several times. It wasn't until September 27th, 1995 that the Fred Hartman Bridge had its grand opening ceremony, which was hosted by the Baytown Chamber of Commerce and the Laporte Chamber of Commerce. Former President George W. Bush actually attended that opening ceremony, along with Miss Texas 1995, a.k.a. Chelsea Smith. Unfortunately, she passed away on September 8, 2018, at age 44 from breast cancer. I wanted to dedicate this video in memory of her because she looks exactly like one of my best friends I went to school with, and because one of my relatives also passed away from cancer as well. To make this even more sadder, Fred Hartman actually passed away in 1991 and never got to live to see the bridge that he was named after. This video is dedicated in memory of Fred Hartman as well. So besides this super awesome bridge, there's actually more stuff that I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to show you a bit of this park, the Bayland Park, right behind me. So let's go check it out. Is that what it's called? So this park itself is actually called the Bayland Park. It's located in Baytown, Texas, 
So it doesn't really have the same name as the town it's located in because it's called the Bay Land Park. The town itself that the park is located in is called Baytown. I see how that can get a bit confusing. I mean, I had to double check my facts on that like several times because I didn't want to say it wrong in the video. Luckily, I didn't say it wrong at all, so there'll be no blooper reel of that at all, even though that'd be kind of funny. This park is really cool, and it's actually very humid here as well. It reminds me just like Florida, really. So I'm gonna show you guys the waterfront real quick. Let me just walk over there really quick. So this is the northern side of Bayland Park, and right now I am standing in front of this body of water called Tabs Bay, and it's very windy out here and also kind of cold. The reason why I'm turned this way is because the wind is blowing quite a bit in this direction, and I don't want to turn too far this way because it'll blow my bandana out of shape. I mean, that's already happened. <laughs> so there it is, Tabs Bay in Baytown, Texas. I actually think it's really pretty. The stranger who brought me to Texas told me that this is all connected to the Gulf of Mexico and that it's all part of the Gulf of Mexico. And then I said that I live by the Gulf of Mexico, which I do, the west coast of Florida. The stranger also said that my part of the Gulf of Mexico probably has much bluer and fresher water than this part of the Gulf of Mexico in Texas. He also told me that this water is actually a mixture of fresh water and salt water. And there's actually a term for that as well, brackish water. I never heard that term before, but you learn something new every single day. The interesting thing though, uh, this water, it doesn't really look that mucky or dark at all. I mean, I like this water. I think it looks pretty nice. But I do have to admit, the water on the west coast of Florida in the Gulf of Mexico is quite a bit bluer than this, really. The ironic thing is, the water in the Florida part of the Gulf of Mexico is actually salt water. Yet, this is a mixture of fresh water and salt water. I always thought that fresh water was more bluer than salt water. I don't know. I mean, that's what I believed in, probably because of my autism mind that I thought of that. Or is it? Uh, maybe that's another thing we can discuss in the comments, so feel free to enlighten me on that as well. So I absolutely love this bridge. I think it's really cool, and I think it's really pretty too. It truly is a work of art. So, what do you guys think of this bridge? Have you ever been across this bridge? And what do you think of this bridge? Do you like it or do you not like it? Please let me know and let me know why. So that's basically it for this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. So that's it. Peace out, people.